it didn't really get dark or anything like that it felt a little bit dark but it felt like it was about seven o'clock in the evening so i went ahead and just uh came out here and started working on this uh flex plate so i went ahead and got my old torque converter off and then i came to come and take off the flex plate off of here but i realized i don't have the correct piece to take this out so i tried a what's this a three eighths and it fits in there, but I don't want to go ahead and strip it out. So I'm just like, let me go ahead and go buy the correct piece because I'd hate to strip one of these bolts. So I'm just going to go ahead and get the correct one and call it a day. So this is where I'm stuck at right now. So till I get this piece off, then I can finally take the old one off. So as someone mentioned in the last video, they went ahead and used a uh, two T sockets and turned the bolts to get them off. So most likely I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing and try and get it off. So I'm going to go find out exactly which socket is, is to uh, take this out. I know it's something higher than a T50. So I might just get a whole bunch and just uh, a set that's higher up. So it'll at least be future proof in the near future if I ever needed a socket like that higher again. So just came back from Harbor Freight. Uh, got this right here. Uh, half drive set nine piece for uh, eleven dollars some change. Ironically, Harbor Freight was like out of uh, not out of anything, but the electricity was off for some reason. So yeah, it took them a while to pretty much ring me up, and they brought this check uh, card reader. I'm like, man, I haven't seen these in like a long and behind time. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try this T60 and see if it comes off. Hopefully it doesn't break or anything cause you know how Harbor Freight stuff are. They kind of iffy at times. So I'm pretty stoked right now. I pretty much got the bolts taken out. Uh, it was a pain in the butt because one of them, I kind of stripped it a little bit. It's not too bad. So what I had to do was I had to like, um, take the socket and hammer it in so it gets in there real good and then went ahead and just turned ever so slightly while holding the socket up and turning like so. So, um, yeah, took them all out. They all go counterclockwise to take them out. So you gotta turn to the left to take it off. Um, I went ahead and used the half drive with the T60 on it. And I used the handle of a jack stand to go ahead and give me some more leverage on the since I didn't have anybody to help me out with this part I just went ahead and used the uh, one of these stuck it onto the bolt right here and left it sit here so that it doesn't move and that pretty much worked out pretty well but this is one of those jobs where it's pretty much if you have somebody with you it'll go by so much easier so much quicker because by yourself uh it takes a while because look at me right now i am like sweating <laughs> like sweating a lot so yeah so i can finally take take it off i'm gonna take it off right now and then um the next thing i have to go do now is just go over there and take off the flywheel over there so in the last clip i end up taking off the flex plate off my um, old motor so i went ahead and go ahead and start taking it off the new motor but then i got all the bolts off except one and the only reason why I couldn't get the last one off because all of a sudden my right arm just like blew out I don't know what happened my whole arm right arm like where the elbow is the joint you know when you hit it and you hit like a funny bone or something it was like that, but it's like completely sore and I couldn't even move it. Like if I put any pressure on it, um, it just hurt a lot. So I let it rest for a couple of days. And then um, last night, a friend of mine, he had an impact and he went ahead and uh, let me use it real quick just to take that last bolt off. And like literally, I just tapped it and it came right off with that impact. Compared to this piece of crap, Harbor Freight special bull crap, it just wasn't up to the task of taking off the flywheel bolts. Back up in your head with the 
even though I let it charge like all the way fully. So this is the old one that broke off. You can see all this heat marks or whatever. So this thing is like completely sheared off. Yeah, this just, I don't know what the heck. So I got the, I actually found the socket. It was a 22. So I went ahead and put a 22 on the hub up there. Brought it down, it wasn't long enough. So I just put a jack stand piece on it. So it hit right here. So depending on, if you're loosening it, you have to have it slanted that way. But since I was tightening, I put it on this end over here. And I just went ahead and used a T60 and um, with the other jack handle. And that pretty much went well. So the one thing I found out later that there's actually a special tool that you could use to um, for the flywheel bolts. Because the T60 fits, but right up here, uh, it really doesn't sit, in, sit, sit inside of the socket that well. But um, if you're careful, you should be able to get it off um, quite easily without stripping up everything. I believe a T55 will work also, but that, <laughs> I wouldn't um, use that. I just might as well just go with a T60. It's a lot more firmer. You end up like stripping the heck out of it um, quite easily compared to with the T60. But yeah. Uh, yeah, so from what I was using, um, my best recommendation is if you're ever doing this just get yourself a good impact and a t60 and you'll be good to go um them things will just come right off and i believe the what brand was it a matco yeah matco uh impact half drive that thing is like amazing i want to get one now so this is what your flex plate is supposed to look like solid intact no flexing or anything like that so what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is just go ahead and put the torque converter on and I believe maybe Sunday or I'll be in what two days I'm gonna go ahead and put the transmission up on there and button everything back up together this is the part where I wish I had somebody else with me because right now what I had to do was put the torque converter up but since the torque converter uh, it kept on falling loose so it didn't give me enough time to put the bolts in so I just went ahead and got my jack. It didn't pump high enough, so I had to put a brick right here just to give me more height. So I used this to hold it in place, and then I just fed the bolt in through the back. So now I have it held in, so now I could go ahead and take this apart and then turn it and then put each bolt back in. What is it, boy? Fire? Earthquake? Hippie? Fire! Hurricane! All right, so today is Friday, like the day before um, this hurricane's supposed to come hit us over here in Florida. So my arm feeling a lot better today. Not at like 100%, more like 75%, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting back in the transmission. So I already started today, hence why I'm so sweaty right now. Uh, a bit humid still, even though it's like raining and stuff like that. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get it in today so far we've gotten the transmission up underneath the car so all I gotta do now is just jack it up and get it in so the one thing that uh, I made sure I did this time compared to what I did last time was I made sure that this uh, plug right here for the transmission from the harness is plugged in securely because it's a pain in the butt to put in when the transmission is up up, up inside the tunnel so yeah, so I got this bolted in, so now I just gotta jack this up and line everything up. So that's pretty much the hard part sometimes. I hope it goes by quickly. So yeah, wish me luck. So I have the transmission in, so what I'm about to do now is go ahead and put the bolts, the ones that I can reach from the top. So it'll be this one and the starter bolt one right here that goes up top, it's inverse that way. And this one all the way up here in the corner, right here. So here, here, and over here. Those three bolts I can access from the top. The rest I have to access from the bottom. So I already tightened the ones at the bottom. So it's just these three pretty much I have to do. So all I gotta do is pretty much put everything back together and we'll be good to go. 
All right, so the exhaust bolted up, the transmission is in, it's bolted up fine. And finished putting the starter in and uh, what was it, the uh, manifold, intake manifold, that's in. So all I gotta do pretty much left is just to put the fan back in and put the cover, drop it on the ground and put it on a trickle charger. I'm gonna put it on a trickle charger tonight so that when I'm trying to start it, it be able to start successfully on the first try. But yeah, pretty happy of compliment, accomplishment of where I got today. So yeah, um, sky looks dark. So hurricane on its way. So, oh well. I'm going to start back on this maybe tomorrow, depending on how the weather looks. But most likely the weather is going to be dumping hard, so I might just chill in the house or might, well, might as well go ahead and just try to finish it on Sunday or Monday or something like that. So I'm going to try it tomorrow and see what happens. Well, I can finally say that the car is now finished, so just leaving the gym right now. So yeah, go. Enjoy the car for a little bit because I haven't driven in a while, so yeah. <laughs> 